Hello everybody, it is summer 2023 and we are starting another run of books. And the first novel that I read this summer was Neil Gaiman's Stardust. This was a book that I had intended to read for a while and never even had bought the book, but it was always on my to read list. And uh, back in the fall, I finally picked up a copy and has this beautiful cover that you can see here in the picture. But I have always liked Neil Gaiman's writing when I have read it. I haven't read a ton of his. I've read uh, The Graveyard Book and Good Omens. And, of course, he's helped write the miniseries of that, which is also wonderfully written. And he's just that skill with the English language. There's something very playful about it. It's And he creates this very magical fairy tale. And... There are weaknesses in the book. This is not a perfect book, as no book is. I would argue that none of the characters are particularly deep, but they're all interesting nevertheless. They're all on this journey. They all have different motivations for what they're doing. And also importantly, their motivations a lot of times change, or at least with our main two characters, Tristran, Tristran Thorn, and our Lady uh, Yvain, who is the star, the, the fallen star. But... Basically, he has created a full fairy tale where a boy named Tristan, Tristan, I cannot, that is a tongue twister of a name. It's like Tristan, except there's an extra R. And he's trying to convince this uh, young lady that he, uh, that he's in love with her and that she should marry him. And so, and they see a fallen star and he says, well, look, if I bring the fallen star back to you, will you, uh, you know, Will you give me whatever I want? And it's implied that what he wants is marriage. And so he runs off on this adventure. He's got some backstory stuff that going on. But what makes the story so interesting and so fun is that there's all these different... There's more than just Tristan, Tristan the young man, going after the star. But it's also a witch and uh, a set of brothers who are all competing for the throne of this tower and all the different paths these people are on keep crisscrossing uh, in very um, intriguing and adventurous ways but the thing I most liked about it was that it was a fairy tale um, now Gaiman wrote this a, a while back but in this day and age when everyone's trying to write something that is turns the genre on its head you know subverts your expectations he just wrote a fairy tale, and it was good. And I think that's something a lot of folks lose sight of, and I think that makes this book even stronger, the fact they didn't subvert the fairy tale expectations. It just was a good, told, a very good uh, fairy tale. So my rating for this is 5 out of 5. I think it's a really enjoyable book. Highly recommend everyone get it. And I... Uh, I'll be back with you soon with my next book. Y'all uh, enjoyed the start of summer, and I'll talk to you soon.